Well, y'all, it is unfortunately official. The anniversary is behind us. Now, we have a tiny bit more to talk about in an upcoming video. Uh, I'm not going to hype it here, but we're going to talk about what's coming now, uh, the end of this week and for the next couple of weeks, uh, now that the uh, anniversary is behind us. We're going to be in a little bit of a cool down state, but that doesn't mean that it's pretty much over with. So, we, we are continuing the free 11 draw for the anime units. Looks like there might be another thing coming with this. I'm not really 100% sure what that's about. But anime celebration present. So basically after the anime uh, episode airs, we're going to get the gotcha. We're going to get the free 11 draw. And looks like we might get some more sweet presents. Uh, I'm hyped for that hero light. Got some hero fawn. Looks like a little bit of iris there. Um, some good stuff in this pack. So, you know. Uh, keep your eye on this. This is this is well worthwhile. And we're, of course, getting a new story. Kind of expect that. Uh, the other stories have been around for a few weeks now. Um, and so we are getting the Xenos Reverse. Limit Break, Mecha Reptile Lead. And uh, let's see. His stats are... Oops, skipped ahead there. Spoilers. HP is 1302. MP is 201. Both physical and magic are, are 401, and uh, agility is 235. So HP is really the only thing he's got going for him, which really... Eh, I'm, I'm not super enthused with. Uh, I do love his outfit, though. He's got like a like an Ava meets like Samus thing going on here. It's really, really, really cool. Um, but he will be free to play. You're gonna, just going to get all the bonds for him just by completing the story. Uh, we do have some banner units to talk about, though. Supply Princess Eyes. Okay. Supply Princess Eyes. She is going to be a summonable unit. 4550 HP. Uh, 2046 Magic. So she's a magic unit. Which we had a, a ton of physical units. So now she's magic. Uh, 1228 Agility. 550 uh, Endurance and 954 Dex aren't the greatest skills. But remember, magic units generally aren't as beefy as... Um, uh, as physical units. So, uh, what does she do? Well, real simply, first, skill one is a 238 MP cost, which is nutty. Uh, fast, high, uh, add two physical nulls, self, magic agi and agility 70% for four turns, add four additional actions, foes plural, mid earth magic attack, and self, earth attack damage plus 70% for two turns. I don't know why that's so damn expensive. Doesn't make a lot of sense for that to be so expensive. It is what it is. Skill two. So we're back to the normal build. You know, the, the, the supporter AoE, then another AoE, and then a single target. Uh, skill two is a 79 MP cost. Foes plurals fast. Super earth magic attack with ultra and guard rate. Magic resistance and earth resistance down 35% for three turns. And remove guard rate and heal rate buffs. So thus far, I don't think she's adding a huge amount. Hmm. Skill 3 is a 46 MP cost, uh, super earth foe, singular super earth magic attack with all and guard rate 80% per self magic buff. Now, that's a great skill, um, but we saw a lot of that with the anniversary, uh, so that might be like the, the new thing. Um, SA is foe's plural, ultra earth magic attack with ultra and guard rate, skill damage 90% per self magic buff, foe's remove status buffs, all buffs, and she does charm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So basically, she's a pure war game build. She's a pure war game build. Um, the whole point in that 80% uh, thing on her single target is in case she gets taunted. She's good, not great, but we'll kind of talk a little bit more about that in the Before You Summit video tomorrow. Leafia! Th thousand Supply Leafia. Uh, HP is 4482. It's a little bit lower HP. Uh, M let's see. MP is 428. A little bit lower in that stat, too. Magic attack is 2072, which is really high. Uh, 556 in endurance. Still not amazing. Uh, I mean, it would have been phenomenal last year, but I'd say in the run of what we just got, is it's kind of expected, I hate to say. Uh, you know, 800 for physical and 500-ish to 600-ish for magic would be about on par with what we've seen in the past. So as much as I dog on it, it, it does mean that magic units do are going to retain their moderate squishiness in comparison to uh, physical units. 
Though, 10.05 for Dex is really nice. 11.43 for uh, Agility isn't the greatest. She's going to get outsped very frequently. Uh, as far as what she does here, okay? Uh, let's see here. Skill 1 is a uh, 70 MP cost. Self Magic and Earth Attack Damage 70% for 3 turns. 3 additional actions. Foe Singular. Singular. Mid Earth Magic Attack and remove Strength and Magic Buffs. Okay, so she's a she's a uh, uh, Record Buster build. Okay, uh, Skill Two is a 96 MP cost Foe Singular High Earth Magic Attack with Temporary Magic Boost and Magic Resistance down 40% for four turns. Allies extend Status Buffs by two turns and 10% MP Heal. MP Healing looks like it's gonna be really important in the coming meta, so that's interesting. Skill 3 is a 65 MP cost Super Earth Magic Attack with Ultra Penetration Rate. Skill damage 90% per self magic buff skill. Foe singular single target damage taken plus 30%. Ooh, is that the highest? That might be the highest. I don't know if there's anybody else that does 30% so far. That might be a little bit of a power creep. I'd have to go look at that. I'm not 100% on that. Hmm. But single target damage taken 30% and her magic... Her, uh, magic resistance down 40% is going to make her an, an interesting asset. But once again, I want to emphasize she's a soul, she's solely a record buster build. Um, and the downside to her, the big downside to her is that the best earth units right now are all physical and they buff physical. So she'd be more of like a sack or something. I'm sure I, no part of me doubts she's going to hit like a truck. The problem is you would have to have somebody else on the team to buff her other than um, Lazar. Lazar's not going to buff her at all. Um, so, SA is a faux singular ultra earth magic attack with temporary great magic boost. Earth resist down 60% and self earth attack damage ooh, 120% for two turns. That's actually quite nice. Add four additional actions, faux singular, high earth magic attack, remove strength and magic buffs. So, the more I think about it, actually, if you have Haruhime, the new Haruhime on the team, that actually does make a lot of sense. And I hate to say, does that mean lead or lead? Does that mean Lazar is falling off the map already? I don't know, man. Big question marks. Big question marks there. I have to really examine that over the next 24 hours. Uh, we've got a new Haruhime. Secondary Fox Haruhime. Uh, she is an assist. 1346 HP, 365 uh, physical, 455 magic. I would expect that to be higher. Uh, though, her endurance is 512. She's going to be a really good endurance buff for uh, a magic unit there. Not the greatest stat-wise, but a good endurance buff. Uh, that's actually really... Let me explain why that's a really solid strategy. Because with the magic units, typically you're, you're more chipping away at their health. And, you know, like they hit hard, but they don't hit like insane but you know they do a lot of other status things so having endurance buff on her is a really 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 smart move basically you're you're running you're not you know you're not you know Re leroy jenkins this one you're you're actually gonna like you know going for a strategy here i like that i think that's a wise build because i always say that endurance is something seriously lacking in magic units next up is secondary samurai mikoto mikoto HP is 45.78, MP is 404, uh, Magic is 2023, 20, so you expect everyone here to be Magic, which is hilarious because our Techno units, which is, yeah, not the expectation. Here's what I'm talking about, 717 for Endurance, that is a great Endurance stat, she's got a, a hell of an Endurance stat there. Dex is 997, and the uh, Agility is 1184. So, good numbers, actually. Really, really, really good numbers. She's got, like, physical unit numbers with, like, magic unit skills. Skill 1 is an 88 MP cost. Foes, plural, super thunder magic attack with ultra encounter rate. Self, magic agility and thunder attack damage 60% for 5 turns. Notice agility stuck in there. And add 4 additional actions. Foes, plural, mid thunder magic attack with ultra penetration rate. And allies, penetration rate plus 40%. Ooh, that's nice. Skill 2 is a 76 MP cost, foes plural, uh, fast, strength, magic, agility, magic resist down 30%. Ooh, nice debuff in there. And shorten strength, magic, agility, magic buffs by 3 turns. That's a really good skill. Skill 2 is a killer skill. Uh, skill 3 is a 58 MP cost, foes singular, super thunder, magic attack with ultra penetration rate. 
skill damage, 80% per self uh, penetration rate buff. Once again, I've told you guys, I love those percentage rates on those skill threes. It just, it makes them still useful. Uh, plus, if she gets taunted, she's gonna, whoever taunts her is gonna be really sorry. SA, foes, plural, thunder magic attack, uh, ultra thunder magic attack, with ultra penetration rate, skill damage 100% per self penetration rate buff. Eh. How often do you, do you buff penetration rate on the assist side? I don't know about all that. Uh, self, magic, agility, and thunder attack damage 90%. Uh, if this unit had dropped this time last year, I'd be losing my mind. I'm not enamored. I, I like her skill too, but beyond that, I'm, I'm, I've really got to, uh, to, to deduce what I think about her. But first thoughts are kind of, okay, you lost me halfway along the way. New Winnie! And she is an adventurer. Um, so, skill one. Let's see, actually first her stats. I got ahead of myself. 4498 HP, 424 MP. Magic is 2036, which is hilarious because she has a gun. How does she have a gun and yet magic? Is it a gun that she... What, is she Gamma 2 up in here? What the hell? Um, 1204 agility, 958 endurance, but a nice... Uh, or, I'm sorry, 958 for dex. 707 for endurance is really nice, actually. I do like that. Um... Skill 1 is a Super Thunder Magic attack with Ultra Encounter Rate. Self, Magic, Thunder, and Agility. Uh, I'm sorry. Magic, Agility, and Thunder attack damage 60% for 5 turns. 4 additional actions. Foes, Plural, Mid Thunder Magic attack with Ultra Penetration Rate. Allies Penetration Rate, plus 40%. I like that a lot. She's a pretty good support, if nothing else. Uh, skill 2 is a 76 MP cost. Foes, Fast, Strength, Magic, Agility... And magic resists down 40% Ooh, for three turns. Shorten strength, magic, and agility buffs by three turns. Did she do the same thing as Mikoto? Or did I read Mikoto's skills wrong? I did re read Mikoto's skills wrong. Ugh. Okay. We'll go fix Mikoto's skills in a second. So everything I read for Mikoto is actually Winnie's skills. So then for her skill three, she does uh, skill damage 80%. Per self penetration rate buff. I'd edit that, but it would slow down the video. So we'll go redo Mikoto's skills. One second, guys. So unfortunately, Winnie I liked a lot, but she lost me halfway through. Mikoto, let's revisit Mikoto here. Uh, skill one is allies slow, agility plus 35%, earth attack damage 60% for four turns, self single target damage taken down 60% for four turns, and three additional actions, foes plural mid earth magic attack. With 20% HP steal and 60% taunt. Ooh. Remember I told you guys, taunt's an interesting situation here. Now, she does have a lot of endurance. But taunt? Mmm. But that HP steal and single target damage taken down 60% is going to make her a huge asset. I think she's the new taunt meta. Um, because... With the single target damage down and everybody lately getting uh, single target damage buffs, they're going to hit really, really, really hard. So without that single target damage taken debuff, I think a lot of the newer units from the anniversary and newer are going to take apart a lot of the old taunt units. I think those old taunt units are going to be... Uh, sorry, my nose itches like crazy all of a sudden. <laughs> I think those old taunt units are going to come apart there. Skill 2 is a 70 MP cost, fast, high earth magic attack with ultra encounter rate. Temporary magic boost, taunt resist down 40%, AoE da uh, damage taken plus 40%, I like that a lot. Uh, and 4 turns self magic plus 80%. Okay, skill 3 is a foe singular super earth magic attack with ultra critical rate and temporary rate magic boost, a waste of a, a, a skill. But she is just ailment for working, that is all she's doing. She's literally just designed to call all the attacks onto herself, lock everybody else in single target attacks, and then basically while they're like hammering away at her, just laugh at the damage. She is your shield. She is solely a shield for Wargame. And for Wargame, I think she's going to be an indispensable asset going forward. Uh, so if you are a Wargame main, look at this unit. We'll talk a little bit more, little bit more about her tomorrow, but do heavily consider this unit. Foes, plural, let's see, oh, I'm sorry, uh, SA, foes, plural, ultra magic attack with ultra critical rate, temporary great magic boost, four additional actions, 
foes for a mid earth magic attack with 30% HP steal and 70% taunt. So basically with her, H her SA, she just gets a slightly better taunt and a slightly better um, HP steal. Not the end of the world, but it's it's a interesting addition there. Um, I like this unit for Wargame. I think she's going to be a serious Wargame unit going forward. We're going to talk about Winnie. Let's talk, <laughs> let's talk about Ray. Raise and assist as well. Uh, 1032 HP, 667 for magic. I like that a lot. Uh, endurance is 270, uh, Dex is 445, and Agility is 411. So really, she's about the magic attack and the HP. Uh, at full max level break, she does magic plus 25% and penetration rate plus 15%. So my honest answer is if you're going after any of these units, you got to go after Ray 2. Ray is an absolute must. Um, hmm... I might have a recommendation for you guys on this. I think his first banner is killer. Maybe skip this banner and go into this banner. Worth notation. I'll ponder it over the next couple of days. Now, we are also getting a new anime unit this week. We're getting Cassandra. HP is 1080. Magic attack is 646. So she goes right along with the units that we're receiving. Um... She does, let's see, like I said, magic plus 25%, penetration rate plus 15%. So like I said, if you're if you're hitting this next banner at all, you've got to get Cassandra as well. In fact, I would almost recommend getting Cassandra even if you're not. Or at least get one of her so that you can throw prison bonds at her as time goes on. Because she is a huge power creep for magic. She's an absolute must-have. And even if you don't have enough to max her right now, and you don't get lucky on the, uh, the freebie tomorrow... At least go with one and done, and then as you build your magic team, then you can uh, put prism bonds of stuff in here. I know a lot of us are reeling from uh, Iris after the anniversary, so that is worth notation. Uh, I will briefly mention her in t this afternoon's video, uh, and you, those of you guys that are here for that, you will just, you will understand fully. Uh, if you're not here for this afternoon's video, you're going to miss out on a really, really great one. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, this afternoon's video is going to be imperative for anybody who is here during the anniversary. All right. Ooh, 500. 500 Irish just for logins. Nice. Very nice. That's part of that fifth anniversary aftermath. Here's the new login bonuses we're going to start getting this week. So there's 70 Iris in there. It's not the end of the world. Two uh, three-star tickets. So very nice rewards there. Dan Mima 5th Anniversary Project After Party 2 starting on the 15th. New outfit stories. New stories have been added for the outfits that appeared previously. You can enjoy them by selecting the episode on the interact screen. Outfit stories will be added 9-15. Uh, Sword Oratoria Main Story, new chapters 13 and onwards will be added soon. So more Sword Oratoria coming, which is good. That's more, more free to play, Iris. Damachi Season 4 Special Box, 4-star time limited unit exchange. Um, that will most likely not include the anniversary units, guys. So don't get too excited on that. 4-star adventure ticket, 4-star assist ticket guaranteed, 11 draw times 3 ticket, 11 draw ticket times 1. I don't know, guys. I think that's probably a skip. But, you know, if you're buying that, you're probably going to whale anyway, so it's probably falling upon deaf ears. But if, you, if you're on the fence about it, I would say probably not. The time-limited exchanges are rarely worthwhile anymore. Uh, the adventure ticket and the assist ticket are nice, but only if they update the, uh, the general pool. And I don't see a general pool update listed here, though it might be coming. I think they said it's sometime mid-September. So maybe if this drops and you buy it later on, um, you know, after the pool update or whatever, because once you buy it, you have like 30 days to use it. So with the pool update coming, I think mid-September, actually, if you buy this and hold on to it, don't use it immediately. Use it after the general pool update. You should be fine. All right. Fifth anniversary after party. We have the Zenos Reverse, the, the free lead. Fifth anniversary after party. We have the free uh, weekly gotcha. We have the anime celebration presents. We got Sword Oratoria. We got new outfits. Uh, all kinds of good stuff here. So let's talk about what's coming at the first of the month. And of course, we have a new Memoria. Uh, September Memoria is all party. Turn six only. Interesting. Turn six only. 44% SA gauge charge gain. So that's strange. Turn six only. Huh. 
I wonder what that, it might level up to 44% when you fully upgrade it, is what I'm going to guess. Um, it might start, you know, like 11% and slowly like build up. Uh, that's weird, but that, believe it or not, is going to help you get essays a little bit faster. And essay speed, I feel like, is going to be a major portion of some of the events that are incoming. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about this Memoria yet. Undertale Skira will be back on the first as well. Make sure you guys pull the rewards out of the uh, out of your boxes ASAP if you have any monthly rewards here. Iris Combo with another item coming back for sale. These come back every month. They're not new at this point. The Zenos Reverse we just talked about. That's going to be dropping on Wednesday. And we're getting a special bundle for it. But if I'm honest with you guys, you probably want to skip that. But anybody buying it, probably going to buy it anyway. We're going to get a new her uh, Heroic Trial. Worth noting, guys, the current Heroic tri Trials are going away on Wednesday. If you haven't completed them, make sure you get them out of there. And once again, it's going to be part of the upcoming video. Bonus Iris Campaign, one time only. This is actually coming back, which is good uh, for those people that want to hit the uh, hit the anime banners. So, 400 for 20 bucks, 1600 for for 80 bucks. It's a pretty good value for what you're getting. Seventh Zone, of course, will be back. That's not news to anyone. 9-2. 9-2, we're going to start the uh, the login bonuses here. We just talked about those. So that's not news. 9-8, we're getting War Game back. That means this week we should get Record Buster, but I didn't get news on who the Record Buster of Boss was. It wasn't in the cells, so maybe I just completely missed that. But we're getting Record Buster starting tomorrow. 7th Zone will be back as course as well. Then 9-15, we're getting our new outfit stories. These are actually being added on the 15th for most of us. On the uh, the Western Hemisphere, that is going to be the 14th. Also, new chapters added. So, literally the middle of the month, we're getting all that new stuff added. And it looks like the box will actually drop at that point in time. So, 9-1. September 2020, uh, the new Memoria, the Undertale Skira, and the Iris Combo. Uh, the Zenos uh, Reverse Tail and all that stuff. So, everything's dropping on Wednesday. Not much. Season 4, gotcha. Episode number 7, that's going to drop later on that evening. Uh, heroic trials, bonus Irish campaign, so all that stuff basically is going to drop the following day for most most of us. Then nine two, we have the Zenos reverse daily log and bonuses. Damachi season four, Ultimate War Game season one, seventh zone, and uh, of course on nine fifteen we have Haruhime and Winnie's outfit stories are added. So once again, Haruhime and Winnie are both getting outfit stories. That means they're getting added to the interact screen. New chapters added for main story, Sword Oratoria, Tiki Gacha, and Special Exchange lineup update. A lot of stuff coming, guys. So once again, I know it is post the anniversary, but you know there is it, it's going to slow down a little bit, and it's going to slow down to the right kind of ways. So we're not going to get you know the insane number of banners and the insane number of of uh, uh, I guess the same insane speed we were dealing with during the anniversary. A lot of that was because of delays, but it is what it is, guys. Um, so. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date, and I will let, uh, catch you guys here shortly for a really fun video I've got coming up uh, this afternoon.